Firstly, do you think you could give people a quick origin of your name? I don't know if you've ever explained it on camera with the, the three eights and whatnot. It's like so much to it. Uh, but Sue come from a street where in high school, really. Like, you know what I mean? Niggas would come uh, kick it and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, and niggas eventually would just associate me with that street because it was just called Sue Street. And so niggas be like, oh, that's the boy on Sue. So, Sue boy. Then fucking two X's, two Y's, uh, three eights, uh, 888, born, 8 a.m., uh, eight pounds, eight ounces. Uh, like, you know, it's the eight types of love like but it's all about numerology really like so everybody's trying to be into it nowadays like with the the 444 mm. 222 angel numbers and all that yeah. it's just something that I realized back like I'm I googling mean, it right now and it says it's a sign of encouragement and abundance and it, and it's associated yeah, with financial yeah, yeah, yeah financial prosperity success and material wealth that's what, some good numbers to live by that's what these are on my wrist I got okay octograms. I've always wondered about that so I got the eight point stars I got three of them eight eight that's hard you know what I'm saying I yeah. got the Eight pyramid, which is the eight four four two 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 two, then in reverse. So. Is it your lucky number two? Uh, nah, that's, nah, I can't. You can't tell niggas what yeah, it is. Yeah, but, it can't okay, be. You know what I'm saying? I can't give too much access. We was putting this playlist together. I was actually on your SoundCloud. And I uh, went down to the bottom and whatnot, and I noticed uh, every time I go to your SoundCloud, I noticed that there's more beats on there than there is songs. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so honestly, at this yeah. point in your career, Rock, I think you've out trumped how many beats you have online with how many songs yeah, you have. Fact. But would you say you like rapping or making beats more? Mm. Well, that's hard because like most of uh, beats I really like rap on or like make songs to would be like. I mean, like, I make the beats for it. So yeah. it's like, I mean, so it's like I can't even justify Would you? I like rapping more. I do. If I could maybe spend a year on, like, not making any beats, that'd just be weird, actually. I don't know. I, I fuck with making beats stuff. Like, and it's not even, like, a beats, too. Sometimes it's just, like, like the whole experience. Yeah. Like the audible experience. Like, I'm trying to... Trying to create something like a, a movie people just listen to, almost. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah. So some. That's why I do a lot of the, like the transitional stuff. But like, yeah, I don't know. It's up in the air on that one because I could really wrap my ass off for like a whole year or two, and then if I didn't make any beats, I'd be a fucking monster on the pen and shit on the microphone. But. You know what I mean, I gotta balance it out. So, so you feel like it goes hand in hand at this point. You don't feel like your musicianship is the same without you making beats. Yeah, almost not. Nah. Uh, what like, have you been doing longer? Uh, making beats. Yeah. Okay. I started out doing the house music, and then I was like dubstep or whatever. And then like I found out about like trap EDM music, and I was like, oh, that's hard. Yeah. And it's like I don't know. Uh, it's weird because I was only raised I know what he in my family or who I hung out with like listen to that like it yeah. was like I've hung out with like a couple people who like went to raves and stuff and I was like oh this is cool music like the first time I went to a rave I was like this is like cool to make I want to make shit like this yeah. like but it was like I don't know so like one day I was like you know after years of making like beat tapes and dropping them at school like passing out cds and all that like they started getting more and more into like a beat way you know all of that and it just like i would like listen to the radio and i'd be like man that is whack as hell and like and then i'd be like i could do better back then like nah, i was garbage when i first started out like i was trash like <sighs> bad I've listened to some of some of my stuff back then. I was like, okay, I was ahead of my time, but nah, I'll be listening to, and it'd be humbling me. I'd but be you, like, but you back then, you yeah, didn't think was you like, was trash. Yeah, back, back then, then you thought, yeah, it was like a confidence to like, oh, yeah. that yeah, that led yeah. me to actually being good. And like now, it's like, oh, like 
he's actually good as yeah. fucks or whatever. So, you know what I mean? Like, I'm okay. But now it's like people ain't going to be like, oh, nah, he's a bad rapper. Yeah. He's nigga been... It's just about the time you put into it, you know what I mean? Like, when I talk to people about you uh, when you're not in front of me, I say that you're probably the most creative person I've ever met, like, hands down. Yeah. Um, I remember when we were on tour a couple years ago, and off the cuff, you just thought a sedation bakery right there standing in, uh, yeah, in the bar yeah, like yeah. it was nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, little things like that. Mm-hmm. Where does your creativity come from? Is it Have you always been, like, a super creative person, or is it one of those things that comes in ebbs and flows? Being a person that has always been, like, because I've always been, like, into meditation, like, even before I knew what it was, like, as a kid. Like, I used to get picked on sometimes by the homies and all that because I'd be trying to be outside meditating. I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing. But I was, like, five years old, like, outside in little, little wherever I'm at, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, trying to meditate, and the homies, they all just, like, nigga, what is you doing? Yeah. Like, a goofy nigga? And I'm just, like, in tune. Like, I'm, like, nah. I was going to say in tune, I'm yeah. just, like, almost, like, doing it out of, like, like as a like stepping up like y'all trying to stand up on like right. against what, what I'm doing like I'm yeah. trying to be cool like do what I'm want. like I seen this in a movie or something I don't right. know but like I don't know low key for me I feel like doing that like just randomly as a kid like being a weird fucking kid like that kind of gave me some extra creativity somehow I'm just like and then getting into you know uh experimentations and all of that yeah. stuff, you know what I mean? Like, I definitely partially halfway indulge for the creative side of it. I know, like, if I uh, do a certain thing or, you know what I mean, like, I might feel some type of way. Yeah. It might give me a certain feeling that I can project onto, uh, you know, Onto a sound, onto a look. You know, in a healthy some, way. Yeah, in a yeah. healthy way. It's That's just like saying. writers, how they be, you know what I mean? Like, you hear about, like, Edgar Allan Poe and, like, all of them, like, huffing paint and sniffing yeah. glue and like, yeah. drinking their lives away. Like, yeah. also, like, I don't know, like, mentally, I don't know, like, not being all there probably helps a little bit with the creativity. Yeah. You know Some what I'm saying? Say that. Like, Kanye West same name, yeah, says yeah. name one genius that ain't crazy. Yeah, it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, being where I'm from, like, you got to be creative to enjoy what you're uh, surrounded by. Yeah, yeah so I agree with that. Got to make something out of nothing, even if it's mentally. That's a perfect nice. segue, yeah. uh, making something out of nothing, because now I want you to uh, tell the people who are not privy about SMG, the origins of that, how that oh, came yeah. about. Man. Shout out to Ville, shout out to Nier, yeah. shout out to Tar. Yeah. Shout out all them boys. Yeah, shout man. out all them shout niggas, shout out to out. Rich. Shout yeah, out. Love you lo- should love you out. Yeah. Yeah, shout out, shout out SMG Worldwide, yes, Nationwide. absolutely. All of that, everybody know, you know what I mean? And if you don't, that's okay. Secret Society type shit. That's uh, fair. Really, that's like what it is about. Like, uh, it started about like six years ago. It's uh, me and two other people who uh, won't be mentioned. Uh, God bless them. Hope they're doing good. Uh, just ain't been in contact. So I don't know if they want to be associated yeah. with Yeah, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we ended up like growing and meeting a lot of people over the six years, which has what's formed into the new. Uh, front group or facing group that you see musically today um, and it's really just been a whole lot of up and downs and battles and you know like we brothers and we family we fight sometimes we fight to the point we fall out and yeah. shit some people gotta go live their separate lives and all that and that's just how it goes but yeah. really like we just wanted to be on some other shit like we didn't want to be like everybody else we wanted to bring back like a type of weird music like weird grungy which is funny because it's like all the stuff that's like popping today like yeah. you know what I mean like right now like all the weird sounds like then it's just like but like with the hard rap and like or the or how whatever rap you know what I'm saying like yeah. just speaking our minds like getting off our getting off our emotions getting off our chest because back then like we was Man, like, we was up in the, in the apartments, man. I remember, like, me, big brother, uh, 
there's like three shorties that lived in the apartment uh, and me and big bro and then everybody else that's like around us in the apartment I, I can't speak too much on it but like it's like at least like five to seven people that was just staying up in there like a night and we just like hungry bro like we wanted food we wanted you know what i mean eating our dreams at night so I mean, we on the microphone letting it all off. Yeah. Yeah, so that's really what it was. That's what it came about, like, letting the pain go. Not saying, like, we hard or nothing either, because, like, it's hard people out there, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't I, I don't want to be hard. I want to be a good pops and shit. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? But just came from what we came from. We rap about how we got through it, and, you know what I mean? We make music for the people that feel stranded. Like, that's what it is, like... Sometimes you come up with hell of people in the world, but you just, through the circumstances, end up being alone. So that's what Stranded Music came about. Like, most of our members are not from the area that we, you know, we reside. So it's like... How many members y'all got? A good amount. Uh, like, musically, probably about like 10, 8 to 10, musically. Okay. Um, which includes some Cookie Store members Yeah, of well. course. Like, yeah. Which is funny how it all works out yeah. like you know what i mean that's just the thing though too like it's just like the vibes like people like uh that's what i feel like the cookie store smg like being sister company is like it's almost like uh, you know what i mean the good good in the dark and the yeah. that you know what i mean yeah and it's like people can relate to both because both is what happens in the world and yeah that's just how it goes about but fun fact if niggas don't know i actually tried to urge uh originally tried to urge casket girl to be on smg so yeah, if you so fact. if you that's how closely intertwined yeah. we are when i met Cass, i was like oh no nah. and i hit sue and i was like yo start fucking with Cass." but then she just kind of rolled over here and then we all became one thing so just, yeah yeah your shit uh seasonal depression you talked about it earlier yeah yeah what's that Seasonal depression. Man, I've been working on this one for yeah, since 2022, uh, which is when the big sad hit. Yeah. Oh, man, you got to do the... Yeah. <laughs> all the effects and yeah. shit. No, but uh, f uh, fucking... Yeah, man, I be fucking... I be sad. I be, I be getting over it now, but... I mean, you know what I mean? seasonal depression that is the whole whole thing it uh came about in a track uh is uh back in december 24th of, uh 2022 tried to unalive myself and then during the process i was uh like writing the song and making the beat for it like you know what i mean like uh kind of like fading in and out of consciousness and all of that and uh, I don't even know if my baby mama knows that she gonna hear this and eat my ass uh, but yeah I was just you know going through it and that's when I just I woke up the next day and I was like well here we go again uh, <laughs> we just gonna keep pushing at it and you know what I mean so uh, just kept going through it and just kept writing about it instead of doing dumb shit I like, yeah, talk to people, stay alive. Yeah. It's worth it. Yeah, I'm glad you're still yeah. here, bro, for real. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Yeah. I be yeah, I be on some shit sometimes, but now that, you know what I mean, I done went through everything I needed to go through, you know what I'm saying? Like I got all my angels on my shoulder that I need and all that. So Yeah, I love that for you, bro. Yeah, seasonal depression was the uh embodiment of <sighs> so much uh like losing Losing a lot of people real close to me, and that's what it is. Everybody goes through it, so it's a lot on there that people can, you know, relate to. I'm actually going to be adding to it because of how long it's been. Like, so it'll probably be almost like a not a two part thing because I'm just going to release it and then probably do like a deluxe version where there's you know two or three more songs on there, some remastered shit, like. Yeah, you know, all the effects, all the fancy stuff, fancy schmancy shit. I'll like, be trying to do it all the you know, audible book and all that type shit. Probably, probably uh, put a, I don't know, probably put an interview with myself on there. So, you know, there you go. Um, yeah. You got a, you got a date for it? 
Mm. Or a ballpark. Man. Mm, honestly, I'm waiting for it to get like cold. Like yeah. cold niggas like Ugly outside. Niggas yeah. is like, uh, nah, I'm not going outside. Like and like the first text message I get where somebody's like, bro, I am not going outside, bro. It is it's gloomy. Mm-hmm. It, I'm sad. I'm inside like, months. That's the worst time yeah. to be a musician for real. Because yeah, you got to figure like, out how to stay productive throughout yeah, you not being able to go outside. TikTok's got to fucking. In the house board. Bro, I don't even know how to TikTok. I've been. <laughs> that's bro, a I tried. It's that's not for me, bro. Way, but <laughs> that shit's hard, man. But. Nah, that's probably about the time, like, December, like, mm, mid-December type thing, you know what I mean? Because I want to, there's a video on there that me and uh, Vince Fresh yeah. fresh been working on. The review one? Yeah, rear okay. review. And that's, um, that's straight off of the, straight off of the seasonal depression. I might end up dropping a little single for it, but the way I be moving, bro, I be gatekeeping, and that's... That's the whole reason I started dropping music again. You know what? It's funny. I was going to ask that question, but I didn't. But now that you brought it up, I am going to ask you, what is the true reason, if you have one, behind gatekeeping your music? Because you got a lot of shit out. Uh, yeah. Um, man, it is it is because, like, I just don't have the time to. It's being a perfectionist. I got like, you. I don't have the time to make it how I want to. Yeah. So it's like, I ain't trying to put out this little half-assed John, like, you know what I mean, because I ain't going to be happy with it. I ain't never going to listen to it again. Yeah. Which, like, which is one thing about me. Like, Even if I like the music, I don't listen to it again yeah. after I release it. Yeah. I just let it go. But yeah. like, if I release some half-ass John, I'm going to be mad as hell. And I probably will go listen to it again. And I'm going to be like, what the hell is I doing? Right. Like, this shit lame as fuck. Like, so one it to be right. Yeah, it has to be. Like, that's the whole reason I ain't dropped the... Wish I was sober part two on okay. streaming because I'm waiting for Sheldon to get some that uh, artwork and shit. That uh, I want his artwork, but I want it animated. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. That's, so that's yeah. the 13 minute one. Yeah. So yeah. If y'all that's... go to Two Boy Eight, <laughs> was it Two Boy Eight 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 on SoundCloud? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. yeah. Go to the SoundCloud of Two Boy Eight 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 and just U X X B. It's way more music on there that I could fit in this episode. It is. Yeah. And that's people don't ran them plays up on that because they tired of waiting. I'm like, yo, I'm sorry. It low key be like that. Yeah. Because it's weird because you do drop in high volume, but when you drop it, you just leave niggas with it. You don't. Yeah. You're not around to make the baby niggas with it. Nah. You you seen I put this out right like yeah. there you go yeah I got the EDM tracks on there the which a couple beat tapes on there yeah. too right people was like what the hell was that I said bro it's just <laughs> the music playing up underneath yeah. these drop spots are beats from Sue SoundCloud by the way it's all like yeah very much a Kanye influence yeah uh, don't don't crucify me or whatever he would say. We got uh, one more question. Uh, so, s- scenario is you've played a show, you did your best, you get off the stage, and really pretty girl walks in and goes, God damn, my friend told me about you tonight, and I was supposed to come see you, but I missed you. Uh, what are three songs, the th- <laughs> the three the three songs you would tell her to go to go to any streaming service or wherever to jam with you to get the best understanding of your music right now? Man, bro, it, I'm gonna be like, bitch, don't walk up to I'm me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fucking, I'm fucking. Uh, approach me without a Newport is crazy. No, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead as hell. I'm fucking. Uh, fucking Spotify. SoundCloud. But I'm saying what three songs, oh, not three, three places songs? yet. Okay, what three okay, songs okay. Uh, would you tell her, all right, you jam these, you know all yeah, you need okay. to know about uh, what I sound like? Like that freestyle. Okay. Those Diaz. Okay. Kind See, yeah, this is a hard game to play because yeah, you yeah. can only pick three. After these three, is it? I don't think of one of the, uh, oh, head, head. Okay. Head. Yeah. There you yeah, go. Everybody, that's a fan favorite. Ah, fuck. See, you left some uh, shit off, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, because I said fan favorite. As soon as I said that, I'm thinking of... Uh, Overlooked. Overlooked, yeah. yeah I know yeah, that, yeah. nigga, yeah. Overlooked, yeah. Yeah, Overlooked. Like, yeah. Everybody fuck with Overlooked. Yeah, so wait, uh, so we we, 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 we benching one of them then? Because you have four. So you have Overlooked, 
You had oh, Dos Dias, yeah. you had Head, and then you had This is what yeah, was the first one you uh, had? Like that. Okay. Freestyle. Like Damn, that this freestyle. Is our game. Damn. But like that freestyle ain't classic yet, it's new. You nah, can bench that one. Classic, yeah. Nah, I've benched that one. Yeah, you it, can bench that I, one after like an honorable is, mention. The thing is, it's a yeah, it is honorable. But the thing is, it's cause people be like Oh, you be rapping, rapping. Like, no, nigga, I went to school for singing. Like, yeah, I'm dead. But like, I mean, nah, but for real, you do like be rapping, shit. rapping, nah, though. Yeah, you got to let niggas like, out. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, it's just funny, though, because I be like, niggas don't even know why I be, like, vocal stacking and shit. Like, because it was a choir, like, like low-key, wasn't even a choir kid or a nerd. Nigga just... Like, doing uh, the shit. I ended up in college, like, and my homie that <laughs> was, like, you know what I mean, like, Hey, big respect to that nigga. Uh, we went through some shit. Did not fold. Good man. Uh, let's say, best said. But that nigga ended up was just like, yo, yeah, come, come fuck with choir, bro. They just gave me a scholarship. I said, yeah, we need that. So, yeah. I, I need some yeah. money. We need that so, right here. Yeah, nigga went to go sing for some, for the niggas, and they was like, uh, yeah, you be the low voice nigga. Yeah, uh, a little b- a baritone or whatever it was. Yeah, type shit. Yeah, I was like, oh for sure. And then I just incorporated that with the rap because when I was listening to like Mac Miller and Frank Ocean, yeah, I mean that's all vocal stack. Yeah, you know, like Smino, like you can hear it in everybody's music. They yeah. just play hella subtle with it, but I don't like to be subtle. With yeah, it. it's just like that's just cool. Like I don't know. Yeah. Uh, anything you want to let the people know before we get up out of here? Uh, fucking seasonal depression on the way. Music video dropping pop off soon, featuring Seville, my brother. Love you, Seville. Yeah, me. Uh, fucking Junkie Hendrix on the way. A lot of stuff on the way uh, that I'm not gonna mention because I'm like that, I'm just an asshole, I guess. And I'm gonna gatekeep it until it's ready. Like that freestyle on the way. Oh, shout out American Wasteland. You know what's going on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Love Child Radio. This is Suboy 888. Two X's, two Y's, three A's. Here.